Good morning, guys. It's Maya Savigny. I am here today because God has um, given me some stuff to, to um, study and and I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was I was it's it's just kind of cool when you look at um, things in the Bible and God shows you and you dig deeper and it's 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 fun actually. Um, but he had. Um, told me to do a genealogy of um, his of Jesus genealogy and so I dug into that and, and later I will do this is Joseph's side um, later I'm going to do Mary's side but um, I want to read to you guys what I found what I discovered it's kind of cool so I, don't know. I can see better <laughs> my cat yeah um, so we're going to start. So, so it was first Abraham. Okay. Abraham, it starts with Abraham because Abraham is the father of what? Multitudes of nations. He's the, he's God's promise there. You know, um, it also means their strength and their protection. That's what Abraham means. The word Abraham means. So this is all the meanings, biblical meanings of the whole genealogy for Jesus um, to Joseph through Joseph, and what I did also, um, it because in list in the list of genealogy, it 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 lists um, like it lists Mary, it miss it lists um, um, some of the women anyway um, in it, and um, different you know connections so. Not just not did I just look at the actual genealogy, but I looked at every every name because it's there in the word and it's there for a purpose. So um as I go through this, um it's it's there's just such cool connections, okay? And understanding if you um can understand and God give you understanding towards it. So we started with Abraham. So Abraham's father of multitude of nations, God's promise. <clears throat> so then we have Isaac. <clears throat> and Isaac means he laughs, he delights, has joy, he has something to laugh about. Because Isaac was Abraham's if if you were Abraham and Sarah, you would have laughed too. And Sarah did laugh when she was told, right? So then we have Jacob. Okay. Jacob came out second. You know, he was the rear or the heel. And that's why they named him Jacob. It means it meant last or sequentially coming or one after another. Or it means he holds back thunderings. I liked that meaning because we all know what happened with Jacob and Esau. Jacob, you know, got Esau's birthright and, and, um, and then that all happened. And then, you know, Jacob later became, you know, so, um, Israel. So, but it, it, it lists him as Jacob. It doesn't list him as Israel. So Judah, now we have Judah, Jacob had Judah. So, Judah means let him be praised, splendor, majesty, glory, and honor. And I actually had someone get make do part of my genealogy through my mother, my mother's side, um, all the way back to Judah, which I thought was phenomenal. It's so cool. Um, although I'm not on Jesus' side of the Judah, <laughs> obviously, I'm in Judah's line. So, um, then we have Perez, which is breach or break in eruption. Okay. Sarah or Zara, however you say it with the Z to the rising of the sun means to the rising of the sun to an outburst of joy or glory rising of light or dawn who 
is the light. <laughs> Tamar. See, this is a name, a mother. So Tamar was the mother of Perez and, and Zara. And um, so they're listed as their mother. So there's a reason, I'm sure. And she is, her, her name means a palm or a palm tree. Freely moving. And what did they wave at Jesus? Palm branches, right? Hezron means manifestations of a gathering or emergence. Aminib, I'm going to say this probably wrong, but Aminadab, I want to say. So that means people of liberty. No, not liberty. People of liberality. Sorry. My kinsman is noble. Our kinsman is noble. Um, Nash, Nashon, Nashon um, means intuitive knowledge. A near and accidental skill. <laughs> we're not given skills, you know. Um, we're, 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 giving, we're given skills from the Holy Spirit. Um, we have intuitive knowledge through the Holy Spirit. So it describes an ability to achieve a great technological feat. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> um, we have salmon or salmon or however you say it. Enclose, envelop, wholeness, peacefulness, a mantle or robe garment. We have Boaz, he mean, mean, which means in or within, by means of, to be strong, mighty, fierce. In him is strength. Rahab, Boaz's mother is mentioned. To become or become large or wide. Mostly of territory, but also of fame, abilities, courage, trouble, and so on, or spacious. And who became, you know, famous, you know, throughout the whole world? Only one. Obed. Servant or slave, work or serve, a hired expert. Ruth is mentioned. Vision, friend, companion. Jesus sticks closer than a brother, right? Jesus, I'm not Jesus, sorry. Jesse. <laughs> Um, Yah exists, or my husband. Of course, Jesus exists, God exists, and he is our husband, right? David, beloved, he was God's beloved, means lovely, affectionate, to praise. And Jesus is our beloved, and we will praise him. Solomon, to be, make whole or complete. And is also used to describe a righteous recompense or proper restitution. Wholeness, completeness, or peace, a fair penalty, recompense. good one. Bathsheba was Solomon's mom. And it means daughter of an oath. Uriah. To be light or give light 
to shine. Um, let's see if I can say this. Rehoboam. Rehoboam. Become large or wide, mostly through territory. Again, that was Rahab too. Um, mostly through territory, but also by fame, abilities, courage. So very similar, Rahab and Rehoboam. They're very, very similar. Obajiah, uh, uh, I'm saying that wrong. Abijah, I want to say, being being like a father, not a biological one. <laughs> Social fatherhood, alpha make, one whom all economy revolved, and from whom emanated all instructions by which the sons operated. Also means Yah is my father and Yahweh is father. Love it. Asa, to heal, a physician who will heal of man, man and also man of sorrows. And who is Jesus? Yes. Jehoshaphat means judge, govern. Yahweh has judged. The Lord is judged. Jerome, 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 <laughs> means Yahweh is exalted. Uzziah means my strength is Yahweh. Amen. Jotham, Yahweh is perfect. The Lord is upright. Ahaz, he has grasps, grasped or po possessor. Hezekiah, Yahweh strengthens. Manasseh, forgetting from a debt. Thank you, Jesus. He forgives all our debts, right? Amen, master, workman a nourisher. Wisdom calls herself master workman by God's side during creation in Proverbs 8.30, which I thought was really cool. Josiah, given of the Lord. Yahweh heals, amen. Fire made by Yahweh, or Yah supporteth. I like the fire because <laughs> God, see, Jesus sends the fire, right? Jaconia, if I say that, the Lord will establish and Yah appointeth. Shealtiel usually refers to Elohim or God. I have asked God. Zerubbabel, scatter seed, or to sow, bear of fruit, also press out of Babel. Um, Abahud, <laughs> sorry, I'm probably butchering all these names. Abahud means the father of majesty. Elikim, or Elikim. Kim also refers to Elohim, just like Shiltiel, or Elohim to or God, and God will establish whom God sets up. Azor means supporter or helper. Zadok, Zadok means just or righteous. Akim means established and raised up. Iliud means rears to um, Elohim or God. Means God is mighty. 
My God is praise. My God is majestic. Eliezer, 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 refers to Elohim or God. God has helped and whom God helps. Notice how it's getting closer and closer. A lot of Elohim and God there. <laughs> Math, Mat, Matan means gift. Love it. Simple gift. Jacob, again, means heal. One closely following will supplant or meaning supersedes and replace. Which Jacob, in the original Jacob, did. He replaced Esau. And he superseded him even though he was last. So Joseph... So Jacob had Joseph, means increaser, repeater, and doubler. And then they list Mary, because Joseph was Mary's husband. So Mary, I always thought meant um, God's gifts, and but that's not what I found. I found... Um, that Mary meant occasions that call for myrrh. What did Jesus get brought? Myrrh. And myrrh is also known as the oil of joy, which I did not even know. And I'm, I'm, and I'm essential oils of joy. And I did not even know that. And um, that it blew me away. So I thought that was just so cool. It means oil of joy, myrrh. And my body loves myrrh. It really does, um, because myrrh is just a quick, quick little thing. Myrrh, when it is, is a very, very thick, thick oil, and when and and you, sometimes you have to like wait, 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 wait for it to come out of the bottle, and when you when I put it on, it pours out. It just it pours out. It loves me, and I love it. <laughs> so, anyways, the next one. Okay, so Mary has. Jesus. Praise God. And Jesus means to be unrestricted and thus to be free and thus to be saved. And saved from restriction, from oppression, and thus from ultimate demise. Hallelujah. And Yah will save. And then they mention not just Jesus, they say Messiah in, in the word. And Messiah means to spread an oily liquid upon someone or something, mostly in order to mark or draw attention to the thing so treated. It means anointed one, highest earthly rank, inaugurate. I just, I, I loved it. I, I love that. Messiah... <laughs> Ah, to pour liquid, like, oh my gosh, I just love it. So, I don't know, It's this is all from Matthew 1. Let me just pull it up. I didn't open my Bible to that, but um, this is all the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah. And it's all to, from, well, it starts you know, right at 1 and goes to... Um, what is it in 17? So, but I love it because it says Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, by whom Jesus was born, who is also called the Messiah. So, that is the generations from Abraham to David, and that is 14. And from David to the Babylonian deportation or exile was also 14. And then there were 14 generations from Babylon's deportation to the Messiah, which I thought was really cool. I'll do some research on the 14s. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyways, I just thought that was really cool. And um, I might end up writing something completely out by more by that and, and make it into like more of a 
reading. Um, I think that might be kind of cool. Um, but I wanted to get it out there and um, then I'm going to do um, Mary too because Mary came from all that too. And um, it's just cool the way God put it all together and how all the word names mean things and um, whatnot. It's just, it's just really cool. So anyways, I hope that like gave you something to think about and, and to know that our names mean something. And um, even if your name wasn't, you know, Abraham, Abram was changed to Abraham. Paul, uh, Saul was changed to Paul. Um, um, Peter was changed. Um, you know, so all the, all these, all these names, you know, if, if you aren't named, you know, a name that God's called you, God's changed your name and ask him, ask him what it is. You know, you may have this incredible, incredible name and, um, we all have a special name and God calls it calls us that and um so i hope this blesses you i hope i hope um you have a great day and um go and sit no more like my pastor says i love it all right have a blessed day bye